Awesome, let's begin. Oh, I love this. Ace of Wands and the Empress. Abundance, creativity, sensuality, playfulness. New beginnings while building something solid. We love this. Can be the mother of your children, the father of your children. Can be very well a masculine energy. And we do have the Eight of Cups. We have a new beginning after... It feels like somebody going back to baby's mama, baby's daddy, that kind of energy, you know? So let's see. Ace of Wands and the Magician. Manifesting new beginnings, manifesting a new life. Getting back in control, right? Being passionate again, being feeling confident. Having all, all the tools and moving on. Oh, Scorpio, this is a new beginning. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. This is a new offer, a new beginning. This is, I want something completely different. Four of Wands, we want joy, stability. We want to be married. We want to have a marriage proposal. It has to be serious. It has to have roots, right? We are not building castles on the sand, right? Moving sand. Oh, yeah. Four of Pentacles, Firm Foundations. I love this. Opening up, we do have the Temperance. Um, this is also Balance. This is Sagittarius Energy. Open up and balance. I'm I'm sensing so you may, we may be holding on to somebody. Um, they are our balance. They are our... Uh, they help us find um, equilibrium of some sort in some way. Financial balance. But we do have the Tower here, right? So we might have to address some issues. We might have to uh, rebuild a situation with somebody. We might have to rebuild balance with this person. But Four of Pentacles, right? The purpose is a higher one. Firm foundations. So let's see. We might be holding on too much to somebody who brought a tower moment upon us, but we'll see. So past energies on your side, Scorpio, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's have some the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, three of swords, with the tower. Oh yeah, that was a mess, right? That was a mess, that was painful. And now we might be rebuilding firm foundations um, on, I mean, the remnants of a disaster, right? The uh, ground zero kind of energy. So let's see. Um, in the past, Scorpio, in this connection, we felt lonely, don't we? We do have the, um, the, the Hermit, this is Virgo energy and the Ace of Pentacles. This is the energy of um, yeah, wisdom, um, yes, introspection, yes, lessons. Um, but I'm sensing we wanted a bond, right? Ace of Pentacles. We wanted to feel that we are building an important bond with this person, something that withstands the test of time. This is the Eight of Pentacles. If we start slow, absolutely, we can have something that's amazing. And yet we've been met with the Hermit energy at some point, right? We had to step back a little bit. We had to look into our wits and smarts, um, see the wisdom in it, see the lesson in it and become stronger because it is the energy of shining a light on a situation and it is the energy of um, making, um, you know, um, being the one, the uh, wise one around the table. This person of yours, strong energy of Sagittarius, um, Scorpio, we do have um, Sagittarius here and we do have the Empress. So they saw you as the mother of their children, the father of their children. This is the energy of trust, of wanting to build something important with you. This is the energy of nurturing and balance. They felt comfortable, they felt uh, nurtured and balanced in this connection. And this is the energy of a tremendous amount of love. Um, mutual energies between the two of you, the world and nine of pentacles. Now, for some of you, having a partner um, with um, kids and another feminine energy, right? Because we have here the empress. Um, this right here is the energy of 
this person of yours going back to their baby mama, right? We have the world and the nine of pentacles. Something ended and both of you became single and they show up here with the energy of going back to the source, going back to the family that they had, that's the empress, going back to whatever they've built solid in the past with somebody, they return just right back. And we might have um, had this moment of feeling lonely, feeling, feeling abandoned, feeling uh, by yourself and in need to, to, to start from uh, square one because that's the eight of pentacles starting from the beginning. For some of you it's a strong energy and probably the tower moment actually felt we are still going through this uh, painful energy a little bit, heartbroken over in quest for balance, uh, but this for some of you it's a strong energy maybe a Sagittarius it shows up twice and we just started the reading so maybe a Sagittarius um opening up after probably leaving you and going back to their family their stability whatever they had um, important so where are we right now we do have the Hierophant Taurus energy and the two of ones we need to make choices we need to make um, life-changing um, change, life-changing decisions two of wands it is the energy of crossroads it is the energy of spreading your wings and walking away from a commitment where you were actually extremely committed to this person right extremely committed to this person this is the energy of they are the one and wanting long-term and traditional wanting something that's solid that's wise that based on traditions, uh, somebody contributing, taking their responsibilities and being there for you, you know. And now the universe is saying we need to spread our wings. It's about time. It's about time to choose something, you know. And guess what? They also have to make a choice in love. They do have the two of wands and the lovers, Gemini energy. But this is about, absolutely, this is about you, you want to have commitment, they want to have love. So, I don't know if uh, love was lost so far. The energy feels like really somebody going back to loving energies uh, while on your side. Um, and again, you, you have to, right? Choose only what resonates with you. But again, one is choosing commitment, the other one is choosing head over heart or, ha or heart over head, right? I'm sensing they choose love. In the past, they needed a lot of nurturing. You might be dealing, um, Scorpio, with somebody who needs a lot of understanding, a lot of love, needs to feel that they are surrounded and covered and buried, right, in emotions, love, and um, and uh, attention. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. You mirror each other, right? You have to avance, they have to avance. This is the realization. This is it, you know, this is it. And this is the right time to make decisions. Mutual energies between the two of you in quest for truth, the sun. You might have a kid together. And we do have the two of pentacles, finding balance, right? So this is the energy of the sun. This is the energy of enlightenment. This is the energy of the truth. And the truth is that this might not be something that we feel in balance. Um, on the contrary, you, you know, we might, and I'm, sometimes I feel in, uh, this kind of energy, and I'm going to say it again because I feel it this time. Um, you know, that kind of energy where we um, get on each other's nerves because we, you know, some people pull the best out of us and some, they really find the button, right? They really find us when, when they are not even trying too hard, you know? So I, I feel that um, that is this kind of dynamic right now where this is it. We have to make choices because we are out of balance and the truth will not come out from you, will not come out from me as long as we don't find this, um, this state of, um, of uh, things, right? For some of you, you might be overworking uh, or this connection of yours requires so much work. Just to pull the truth out of somebody might be such a hassle, right? So, I'm just saying. Um, and they might need a lot of love and maybe you need a lot of stability. And they, because they need love, they might be a little bit unstable till they don't find all the time that kind of love. While for you, it's actually all about the commitment, you know? 
And even in tough times, if we committed, we stay there because it's a promise, it's a word, right? Um, Scorpio energy is coming your way. You go back to the square one. We started with the Ace of Pentacles, strength, strengthening bonds, and we have your energy, right? The death energy. Release and strengthening bonds. Honestly, I feel this is really your energy, and actually you have an offer on the table. They might. This is what's coming your way, right? Um, can be this partner of yours. Um, you know, really wanting to strengthen bonds. Um, or this can very well be a new beginning, right? You know, kind of an offer in the eye of the storm. This is how it feels. We'll see if this is your person. Well, um, I don't think so because they are in the, um, the high priestess and, um, the star energy. Uh, they are healing. Highly spiritual energy. High priestess and, um, the star this is all about alignment, wish fulfillment, healing, guidance, counseling. And the high priestess is the energy of knowledge, is the energy of, of inquiry, is the energy of collecting data, is the energy of staying between the dark and the light and benefiting from both worlds, is the energy of, um, again, knowledge. So I believe this person of yours um, heals themselves through spirituality and knowledge and research and inquiring mutual energies between the two of you moving on and accepting destiny and its course okay moving on and flow both of you actually you are detaching emotionally looking to the future looking for opportunities looking for balance looking for healing on their side they um they are in a in a place where um, they need love and they need nurturing and they need healing and they need spirituality to move on. Going through fundamental changes because we have out of six cards, five are major arcana. And one is about choices, uh, personal intimate choices that they need to make. And also the destiny kind of and the universe uh, bringing them again big changes. Big, big, big changes, big awakenings, big healing. Um, on your side, we have you very strong-headed about what you want, right? And you want strong bonds, you want commitment, you want to be chosen, you want to be the one. Um, this is the wisdom of the situation. This is, um, you know, it's been there for millions of millions of times. It's the family cell, right? With the, with the, um, the hierophant, right? It has to be solid and it has to be, um, you know, traditional and there is a sense of safety in it. It's also, um, Scorpio, I'm feeling you are going through that phase where I'm taking nothing less than marriage. You know, this is how I feel. And if we have to let go, we let go, but we want something strengthening bonds. We want to build something solid. And I can understand we've been through the tower and the three of swords. We've seen the worst of it, right? And it still hurts. So I'm sensing that we are in a mood of, no, no, I'm not going to compromise. I've done it so many times. It's time for me to move on. And um, and good for you. Good for you. Because I'm, I'm not seeing a lot of love here. And again, it might be um, covered by um, a little bit of resentment, a little bit of, um, I'm going to make a choice, that's it. And, and, you know, this love can be covered in in energies of well if you lie to me you know this is not going to go far so um and that is the truth right in the middle of the reading paired with the balance so as long as we are not speaking our truth there will be no balance and as long as we are not making our choice from a place of truth it won't be any form of balance between the two of us kind of how it feels this energy okay um and firm foundations first card out eight of pentacles and yet we hold on to each other right okay hey let's ask for some guidance let's see what we need to do and know about this and i'm using my whispers of love 
So we do have embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. Be willing to express love. Express love to receive love. Right? Accept your emotions. Be willing to express love in order to get love. Reciprocation and true love. This love is once in a lifetime. Speaking of that is no love and now we, get, we got the confirmation. Oh yeah, that is love in this. But we need to express love and we need to embrace our emotions. We do have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. So that is something about their ways or your ways that are a little bit different. We do have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you and it might be related to religion and um, beliefs. And we have release your ex, Scorpio. The time has come to clear your energy. This is true love but you'll have to release your ex in so many ways. Okay. I have my doubts. We are moving on here. So, um, might, might be you needing to let them go. For some of you, um, Scorpio, they might be your true love or this is how you feel right now. Because we have somebody going back to their family in this energy, in particular going back to an empress, somebody they had children with. They might be going back and I feel that kind of the universe is saying, yeah, might be a true love, but we need to release them. We need to read the red flags and we, right? We need to, um, to understand the dynamics of it. So let's see the energies we need to get back into the flow here. And we have surrendered to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us. Even in the mundane aspects of life, remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. So Scorpio, you are magical, right? So you, your self-esteem should be at the right place. We do have surrender your need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflict and improve your relationship. We have trust. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and you have faith in your intuition. So you are magical. You don't have to push things. Have trust and love. I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. Maybe we need to change a little bit the mind frame here, Scorpio. And we do have purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. You have love and purpose, right? So probably that is something in your mind frame that you need to change. You need to have trust and you need to demonstrate love. This is what you are guided to do. So I don't know if we are in a phase where we have resentment for this person. We are ready to release and, and have something new right away because we, you know, we've been hurt. But kind of the universe is guiding you towards, you know, uh, have trust in this. Have trust in this and come from a place of love. This person needs, um, Scorpio, this person needs healing. We do have them listening to their intuition, going within and healing. They absolutely need to go through this process. And uh, we, we might be upset. We might be upset. That is this energy of, uh, of being upset and impatient and wanting to come out of it because it's, um, you know, the pain is unbearable. I mean, the, the tower and the three of swords, that is pain, but um, still, right? Spirituality means unconditional love and accepting and allowing this person as they come, right? So, Scorpio, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.